Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers, to Wizardry 8. Let's get out there to the Arnica Road. Probably one of the most dangerous areas in Wizardry 8. There's a couple of crabs here and we'll see if they are the devastatingly dangerous crabs or if they're just normal crabs. Or sometimes you even have no crabs here. Look there. Oh, look. Granite Potion can help with defense, but you can also mix him in. So this area is kind of dangerous because it's like in the middle of everything. You have no real edges. You cannot rely on the environment as much. There's a couple of groups that you can encounter there that can really, really screw you over. One of them is a group of bandits. And if you don't manage to get to a point, at the, uh, to, a, to a corner, then you'll be in grave danger by these really, really strong opponents. And we're also strong, we're not afraid, we're just careful. And if you meet them, they're just around this corner here. Just around the corner! <gasps> Missile shield has expired. We have to rebuff. Bellowed. Hopefully they're not coming around the corner just like this. Ah, the enchanted blade is still there. There's no one here. Maybe we can sneak into the side. There's some real cool things hidden there. It's going to help us out a lot. It looks like the path is, is free. We're not going to get to kill a group. We were lucky. There's more rogues there, though. But they should be manageable. Enemies? Good. They will die quickly. Well said, Echidna. They will die quickly. Let's give them the mind stab. Right then. And most probably the sleep will be good. Yeah, and okay. how about we give ourselves the blessing? Right then. And we'll okay. wait a little bit. How close they come. We'll attack them as quickly as we can. Ooh. Ow. Some of them will be advancing now. We'll see. They're coming closer. We're going to attack these two. They're not that strong. Strong enough, though. Oh. Uh, maybe we'll um, target okay. these three instead. So. Everything's focused as we should. Here we go. <laughs> An instant kill. It's the high ranged skill that we have. Sometimes gives you instant kills. Very nice. Let a couple of them. Well, we let one of them sleep at least. Ow. We're doing well even though they start to surround us, but they're weak. They're a static spawn, you will always get these kinds of opponents at this this area here. Mm. We'll mind stab them. Right then. As already said. Right then. That's one of the good things. And Yeah. Let's do this. Ouch. That was going well. Nothing satisfies like the taste of blood. Wonderful. Right then. We can go for more, for more mind stabs here. Yeah, we could also go. Um, that might be a good idea. Okay. One time the breath weapon. Here we go. 
Yeah, that we could move forward so more could attack, but we're, we're pretty satisfied like that. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Right then. So Blessing will run out next round. Um, okay. We'll walk forward a bit. Well, and they move forward. Then we'll just attack, it's okay. Later on, when you have more attacks, uh, this walk and then attack is kind of bad because you lose additional attacks. You'll only get one attack then. But at the start, it's a perfectly fine method. You only have one attack, and you will usually not use the attack if you wait while walking. I mean, it would be... R I have never had it happen, so... Waiting like that is just a good thing. Or maybe we shouldn't blow all our m mental points, but hey... We also need practice! Yeah. Let's practice like that, then. Boom. Really good um, experience points and loot for that opposition. It was not really that hard. There's a couple of good things here. If we have someone in the second row who needs a spare, you can get the nice all pike here. Gives you quite a lot of damage, 7 to 16. Initiative is bad, but it's really, really cool in terms of damage. And we want to give that thing to a ranger. The ranger also has... You can always look up if you have the skill for that. And if you don't have the skill for it, you, you cannot really get very good, even if you can use the weapon. But we have pole arm, so we can give it to the ranger. So the ranger can level the pole arm as well, instead of that. It's going to be pretty good, but we, of course, want him to first use the bow. Bow is, bow is just better. Because of the ranged criticals the ranger gets. We also got the leather legging, leggings, and they are pretty good too. Let's see, they have plus five, so first gonna look to the bard, of course. Has sweet pants, let's give her leather leggings, much better. Um, yeah, not improving here, not improving there, but the ranger already has the sweet pants. Gadget here. Get to improve by that. Now, um... Those who poke around in the bushes should not be surprised when a snake comes out. This is trapped. Indeed, this is trapped. That's why we're gonna use Divine Trap. Here. And we're going to look again. If you be really careful, you can also uh, first rest. We're going to do that afterwards. Seems like it's dag Dagger Scatter, right? We'll do it three times, you. <gasps> hey, we've tripped it. We got the Piercing Pipes, which is really good. That's... That's a bagpipe for the bard, which gives us an area damage spell. Got a round shield, which is also pretty good, and a studded hauberk, which is very nice leather armor, and shurikens, which have a kill chance even, a leather cuirass, so everything, everything good. We'll take that. Really, really nice things to get. Um, got that alpha chain mail. It's a tarnished mail, it's not bad. Um, I'll give her the studied hauberk instead, which is a little bit better than... No, oh, the tarnished mail is still not good. I'll put it back in here. Leather cuirass, uh, we already have. The ninja cannot change, but the ranger can change. Ranger can also use the tarnished mail. Let's see. Mm, the gadget here can also use the tarnished mail if need be. That's a little better than the Swede Double 
And yeah, with the robes here, can use that instead. It's one better. With the round shield, we want to give that to the bishop. The bishop has a little bit more defense. Um, we can also, I think we should really give it to the bard. But we have to look at it. Do we have a shield spell? Yes, so we'll learn shield too. It will really be good. I mean, it's just a shield, but um, together with the skill for it, you can really, really you have summoned me? improve your armor class a lot. This is most unfortunate. What's our goal for today? We want to get to Arnica if possible. You bellowed. So let's see what we can get done. That's more of a missile shield and more of the enchanted Biscuits. blade. Nice. Both really, really helpful. Now we got to be careful again. We're getting into the danger zone again. There's sometimes really, really strong wasps, insects that will sting you paralyzed. So let's quickly get into that direction. Sometimes these boulders and so um, are really helpful to fight in, so you cannot get surrounded. So make sure to take a path that is close to the edges here as close as you can then um, we will not explore every part of it here because it's just so dangerous at the start we'll hug the wall so to say and not pick everything up here that's one of the big things even if it's so small sometimes you get really big amounts of opponents here and then you can retreat in here and they will actually go back out or you can lure them in here and can attack them one by one it's just a really big advantage to have that your disposal oh this little dust up will be no problem yeah that's the wasps they're mediocre at this point but they can really hurt so let's see what we can do right then we'll start with a bless um bless doesn't give you stronger bonuses with higher level, it only um, okay. increases the duration, which is why we'll let the bishop cast the bless and the bard can do the sleep. And we can now try a lightning rod, which will also train okay. engineering. We'll let them come close to us and then attack. Okay. see short range which one of them is sometimes one of them is really weaker than the other and this one has 27 hit points this has 32 so i want to attack okay, that yeah. one here first that said be careful when you buff and use the shift click focus method um, it will, it will buff the opponent then sometimes. Right then. Here we go. As you can see if you're careful, you can really do uh, good things. Come on! Don't prove me wrong now. Here we go. Ah, my talents have been rewarded. Although it is pleasant to advance, true happiness comes only through meditation. And we're going into that, um, into that safe spot here to level up, so we we don't get surrounded or something. Something funny like that happens. Let's see if there's a an essential spell. What would be essential? Yeah, it's something like uh, Enchanted Blade or Missile Shield is essential. And there's another thing that's called Armor um, armor Plate. 
And then there's a resistance spell. That's also essential, but there's nothing more essential to find here. I mean, identify item is pretty cool. Could pick that up. It's it it would be helping a lot. So we're gonna pick that up just for just for funsies, just uh, to make sure we can identify every item. The rest of the spells is really not needed that much here. So increase the artifacts more. Alchemy and psionics. Which were the lowest, which is why I chose them. Increase the ninja. Save the spell, because you can save them for the next level, which is um, usually a good thing, because every couple of times you get um, new spells, higher level spells that you can choose. And that's really a good thing. So we'll just go for the rather neglected skills and give them the full points. No need to balance it out as uh, meticulously as before, because yeah, as the values grow higher, you don't need to be like that nitpicky. It's it's fine. It's fine if you do it rule of thumb style. So, hug the wall again. Notice, I hug the wall always. There's another one, another spot where, where I run to even, to fight. It's this thing, so a really good attack angle here. The opponents, you, there will be maybe one or two who can, will get to you. There's another one here. And we'll test that here because there's already some rogues coming that will attack us. Now, if you click on them, they will shortly do nothing. You can abuse that a bit, but not too much. Rustabouts can can uh, bring you KOs, and while cut purses can throw weapons at you. So they're a good combination. Enemies? Good. They will die quickly. So we've got them here, and uh, we'll start with our standard behavior. Uh, we're going to go for a bless. Right then. And we're going to try to make them sleep. Uh, cannot reach them, so we'll do it another way this time. Okay. We'll go for the angel's tongue here, and instead we'll go for a mind step against right them. Then. And with the rest of the people, we'll just yeah, I think we can use the lightning okay. rod again, okay? Because it really does a lot of damage, and then we'll <gasps> go into this corner and fight them here. So they can only come one by one. I mean, it's not really necessary here, but still, just to tem Those demonstrate it. Here we go. We even hit that thing. We even hit there. Okay. So, we're waiting for them okay. to come to us. So, when we reach Anika. We'll also meet our first recruitable uh, p personal character. And it's a really, really cool character, very helpful at the start. And we'll take him on. But first, we need to survive them, and they are pretty strong, as you can see. They don't have that much stamina. You can if you really focus on that. You can do things there, but you can also just attack. Let's see. This gives us nine turns of blessing, which is great. And you also don't want to like berserk them, maybe. I mean, we can try. Well, let's let's see. Okay. Here we go. Ouch! The punches can knock you out, which is a really big disadvantage. So we need to be careful a bit. Here you go. Berserk doing the work. I've, I chose that because of the high number of hit points they have. So it doesn't lead to overkill. Now 
Now we'll choose the other way. Cause not so many hit points there anymore. We get a cloak that's really, really cool. We get the shadow cloak. See here, that gives one armor. It's not that great, but a, just to have a cloak drop at this level is pretty great. Right then. And it's often these humanoids that drop really, really cool items. Again. Ow. Echidna really gets it, but hey. She also dishes out the damage, right? Now getting insane. <laughs> From behind, not hit. Unfortunate. Boom. Nice. Really nice. Now let's see, we've got a dagger and we've got the Shadow Cloak who can use it. The gadget here, the bard, the rogue and the ninja. But not, as you can see here, not the fairy ninja. Exactly that one not. But we can give it to a bard. And yeah, the Hunter's Cave is also not for the very ninja. But it can be for our Dragon Fighter, which would also uh, profit greatly from it because of the low senses, it has a really big influence. So we're gonna give her that too. So we can use both cloaks and their armor bonus in the front line, which is really, really helpful. You have summoned me? We're gonna see that we can heal up a bit. Is it easy? Geronimo! And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just heal up here in this chill corner. It will be good. Uh yeah, we haven't really now we're full. You bellowed. Missile shield. Enchanted blade, you know the deal now. And we'll progress to Anika. Hugging the wall. There's also pretty cool, cool things to pick up like this. Amulet of Static. Increases your resistance against mental. And as we have a small weakness with a fighter against mental, we're gonna give her that thing. It is exactly the weakness um, like 5% weakness or minus 5 resistance that we could now um, equalize with the amulet. So pretty cool amulet of static. It has also some uses here so you can use its powers but usually you don't do that. It's uh, You might have better spells. I mean there are situations where you can use them. You, see, you have 9 charges of an energy blast power 6 which can do quite some, some damage. When used, it generates a jolting spark of electrical energy to zap one creature. It's useful, but the 5% um, mental resistance is really the, the cool thing about it. So don't go into that direction, that's a really dangerous area. Especially for random encounters. Oh look, there's a purple potion. Now we can look at that with a bishop. And we can now cast Identify. Biscuits. Didn't didn't work, but very often you get, as you can see here, a skill up for it too. So It's useful in a lot of ways. Now, we've reached Arnika. Wonderful. And we're going to meet the first... PC. Who's that over there? Hey, I heard you were coming to Annika. I'm Miles, a local uh, businessman here. I wanted to be the first to welcome you. Of course, there's not a lot of competition for that. 
Most of the locals cleared out when the Dark Savant arrived. He and his troopers have terrorized this place, but hey, it's made my business easier, no one being home and all. <laughs> Speaking of business, I got a line on a little rescue for profit mission and could use some help. You look perfect for the job. You up for it? Sure, we need money. Perfect. Like I said, these troopers have done a number on Anika. I just saw him kidnap someone. Good looking woman, too. Hmm? Not that I wouldn't rescue an ugly woman if there were money in it. <laughs> I'm not biased. <laughs> anyway, these troopers took her over by the crash site. From there, I lost track. I think she must be somewhere nearby. I would have rescued her myself, but there's not enough of me to go around that many troopers. The crash site's straight north of here. When you're ready to go, we'll go together. Of course, you probably have some questions first. So we can recruit him then. Just done here. Well, we're going to ask him some questions. What about the Dark Savant? You might say he's the worst thing that ever happened to Arnika. I mean, he comes out of nowhere, creates this giant tower in the middle of town, and then sends these troopers to ransack what's left. And that's not all. Here, we used to get all kinds of visitors, you know? Now he's shooting ships right out of the sky like it's a shooting gallery or something. Tell you what. Lord Braffitt probably knows a lot more than me, and he's right in town here. Aha! Uh -huh. Lord Braffitt. He's sort of the Hagadi spiritual leader, you might say. In normal people terms, that just means he's lived long enough to know most everything that's worth knowing. Hmm. Pretty cool. And um, what about the troopers? Them things are dangerous. Now, bear in mind that I'm on a learning curve too. I don't know a lot about them. What I do know is that they're somehow attached to the Dark Savant. And that they keep coming out of that giant tower of his. Aha. Uh -huh. The police here, the HLL, they kill 20 of them, another 20 come right out. It's like they're machines or something. Aha. Uh -huh. What about the, the HLL? The Guardi Lunar Legion, our version of the law. They seem a bit high strung right now. Okay, what about the tower? You can't miss it. It's a huge black metal thing with troopers swarming all over it. The Dark Savant's little gift to the city. Here's the scary thing, though. There's no way in. No doors, no windows, no tunnels. I've tried every which way and nothing. I figure there's a way in. I mean, there's gotta be, but it's not in Arnika. Interesting, interesting. So what can you tell us about Anika? I'll be honest with you. Anika's a mess right now. Then again, you picked a heck of a time to visit. A year ago. Beautiful city with wonderful people. Then the Dark Savant arrived and wrecked the place. Still, I can give you a few recommendations. If you want to know what's happening on a streetlight level, there's Helly's, a great bar. You can get a room there, too. There's a couple of shops that are still open, and the bank, of course. Oh, and the temple, if you go in for that sort of thing. Helly's. Northern section of town takes you right to Helly's and her bar. Nice. And the temple? A guy like me doesn't get into temples much. You're better off going there and finding out yourself. Oh, right. What about the moat? I'm sure it's worth a little something to you. Okay, yeah, 14. Now, there's an interesting case for you. Outsiders just like you, except smarter and taller and well, perhaps in a bit better shape. They've moved right into a building here in Arnica. Vacancy rates being what they are. Not letting anyone in either. Believe me, I tried. Well, what about you, man? That's my name. Not too much to say about me. Oh, there's rumors, but I suggest you ignore them. Rumors? I ignore them. Okay, I, I get it. We come from the monastery. The monastery's the headquarters of your religious types here. It's north and west of town, down the road a bit. Do you know birds? No point just standing around. Okay, I'm not interested. Do you know Alethaidus? I'm eager to get going. Okay, okay. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, what about Trinton? I'm sure it's worth a little something to you. 
Oh man, okay. Trenton, huh? It's not too far from Anika. Real problem is that those little buggers, Trini, they're called, take anything that's not nailed down. You go there. I suggest you keep a close eye on your stuff. <laughs> Interesting. So the Trini are. I'm sure it's worth. Yeah, okay. The Trini? Ah, nice enough. As long as you don't mind them being small, furry, and kind of stupid. Funny you bring them up, though. Rumor has it that they're looking for a little help over Trinity. Uh -huh. Seems they got some kind of infestation. Not really my line of work, but uh, I thought I'd give you the heads up. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you can come with. I'm sure it's worth. What about the cosmic circle? He knows something about the cosmic circle. Nice. Fee, you understand. Ask about uh -huh. it. He's really your man for religious matters. Interesting. And the Ascension Peak? That's something you really should ask Braffit about. So Braffit knows the religious things. What's what if, what is it with the Umpani? I don't know a lot about them myself, other than they've moved into Mount Gygus. I mean he's giving us a lot of information. I'm sure it's worth a little something to you. For some money, but it's okay. Of course I know the place. Mount Gygus. Caves, really. Good place to go if you need to lie low for a while. Those, uh, what do they call themselves, Umpani? They moved in up there. I bet they haven't explored those caves. I hear there's stuff hidden in them. Oh, right. Uh, what about the track? I was trying to place them as either vegetable, animal, or mineral. And I just can't do it. Maybe fungal? Uh, mineral? I'm eager to... Yeah, 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 okay. What about uh, this this rumors about Martin? Practically legend around here. He stole the Destine Dominus right out of the monastery. Guy's a master. Aha, the Destine Dominus. Maybe that's one of the artifacts. Now that would be a prize catch. Of course you'll never find it. It was stolen a long, long time ago, and if I haven't found it, no one will. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, that's all we could talk to you. So, will you come with us on that quest? Of course I'll join you. Like I said, I figure they're by the crash site somewhere. Let's go get her. Now, the thing you is... You probably know all about our Nika, but let me fill you in on a couple of details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that tower, for instance. There's no way in, and that's my professional opinion. However, since that tower showed up, most of my fellow Hagadi hit the road, and they left plenty of stuff behind. If you get the RPCs, they always have something really cool to say about the area you're in. If you dismiss them, you'll probably find them after a while where you found them first. Or... After a short while, you'll find them where you left them. Uh, so they are pretty fun to have around, and they are also usually very good combatants, as you can see here. Um, he's a rogue and pretty pretty well versed in the in the melee combat. So um, we can give them a couple. Of th we can give him a couple of things. We will probably take the throwing knives for a ninja, but we can, can give him the, the sling and stuff. And we can we can take his leather caress, but we don't really want to to be uh, steal that from him. Mm, we can give him a second uh, dagger or something because he's he's a rogue and he's very good at dual wielding. So we have the main gorge here, which is a tad better than than the dagger. Yeah, we have two main gorges, so we we'll keep the daggers. Give him the main gorge. And then he'll be a very, very strong combatant as well. And it's there's really no need to give him the sling and stuff because he can also use... Uh, where do we have it? The short bow. And that will do a lot more damage. It's a bundle of arrows. And at that point, let us also check in if the ranger still needs some arrows. Yeah, he needs them, but hey, here we have them. And there's the piercing pipes here still. Good that we looked. Something for the bard to carry. And now, I'm going to look into that again. Yes. And he's one of the guys, at least at the start, as you can see, has only 37 hit points to place in the middle. So, um, he's pretty tough for a combatant. Taken care of. 
Um, as you can see, he has dexterity, speed, strength, and not that much vitality, but um, he has some stealth, which which really helps with armor class too. So um, even if he has not so many hit points, he'll be pretty good at what he does. Now this can can heal you. We don't need it right now, but you can click on that to heal you, if needs be. And here we're going to make a short pause, and uh, we'll continue into Arnica and do the great rescue quest in the next episode so make sure to stay around for that we'll pick up another great npc or recruitable pc rpc from wizardry 8 uh, then too so have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is manuel khan signing out see you soon and happy gaming go, going back to wizardry 8 soon in this step-by-step -step playthrough <laughs>